In the absence of right information, we often choose wrong career direction. And when we choose wrong career direction, then it becomes very difficult 10 years later to change it. And that is the reason I am here to tell you that this is the direction which you can pursue and probably succeed if you are already interested in a merger of computers and biosciences. Now, I know a lot of students who already are aware that bioinformatics is the future of biosciences. And if that is the future, why not pursue it? But then the question comes is, what kind of jobs you can get in the future in the bioinformatics sector? So bioinformatics, as we know, is highly scalable, cost effective, and uh, is being easily adopted by every possible industry in the bio and pharma sector. But having said that, what kind of job designations and what kind of jobs you can get in the bioinformatics sector? So broadly, I can divide the bioinformatics sector or the bioinformatics jobs, which you can get types of jobs into two segments. One is a segment where you are working on the other side of the fence, where you are developing bioinformatics software. So there are two types of jobs you can get there. One is a bioinformatics software developer. Or you can become a bioinformatics engineer, service engineer. So both are similar. One is where you develop the software. Another is where you give the service or any kind of maintenance services to the industry. So both are on the coding side of the bioinformatics wherein you have to code okay, or you have to understand code. So for those students who want to be on the other side of the fence and be a bioinformatics software engineer or a bioinformatics software developer, you need to know coding, which is Python, Java, Perl, R, and all these languages. And for that, we have coding for biology internship. You can always enroll for that. Link is given in the description. Now, coming to the second type of, uh, seg second segment of jobs, which you can get, where I think six or seven uh, job points I can give you, is bioinformatics scientists. So wherein you use the bioinformatics software to do bio and pharma jobs, okay, bio and pharma, bio and pharma tasks. You could be another type of job you can get is genomic data analyst. So you can be a data analyst who is, you know, taking the genomic uh, data input and then analyzing it using uh, bioinformatics software and providing the output to the team. So that can be the second type of job under this category. Third could be a computational biologist where you use uh, computer aided drug design and stuff like that. So you basically use computers to design drugs and stuff. So that's computational biologist. Next, you can be a clinical bioinformatician. So you can uh, you apply bioinformatics into various clinical and non-clinical aspects of uh, the bioinforma domain. Then again, another aspect, another type of job you can get is data scientist. So data scientist is like a lot of genomic data and a lot of proteomic data is being generated and uh, you know, it goes into petabytes of storage, right? So all that data can be analyzed using machine learning and artificial intelligence. And you can be a data scientist who can be you doing that. So that is one segment where you can make a career as a bioinformatician, right? And again, then uh, you have a very simple job, which is a biostatistician. If you, your maths is good, you're good in coding and you love, uh, uh, you know, uh, data sets. So you can always become a biostatistician who can actually go ahead and uh, perform a lot of biostatistics related stuff using the bioinformatics software. So broadly, we divided the entire bioinformatics field into two, two parts. One is where you are developing the software and the other side is you are using the software. Just like, you know, either you develop a, a Microsoft Word, that, that's a software engineer, or you use a Microsoft Word to write an article. So that's our writer, right? The same way this entire segment is divided and fragmented. Now coming to the question that which one is better? My answer to that is depends on your interest. Never ever think that, okay, this particular domain has more scope, more money, less scope, less money. Even if something has less scope, still, if you are the number one, you're going to earn a lot. Okay. But if you are in a segment where you are just another Tom, Dick and Harry, nobody notices you, then you will just earn average income. So the point here is whatever you do should be your area of interest and whatever you pursue, you should be the number one in the entire world end to end. And that is where you can earn a lot of money, fame, popularity, and singularity. So that's my point here. Remember, your singularity will bring in your future popularity. Your T USP of today will become a TRP of tomorrow. Your you know, specialization or area of interest of today will be your earning potential of tomorrow. So choose wisely. 
never ever give in to the misinformation which is there on the internet many people will go and comment that oh you you will not get a job here there is no future no scope even below this video also you may get but the people who are commenting there are right now in the valley of disappointment they feel that there is no job but you know you always have to go through the valley of disappointment to achieve success so don't listen to those who are in the valley of disappointment you are three feet from gold all you have to do is try 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 and you are going to get there this is how it works the industry rewards those who add value to themselves so become a value addition uh, expert by performing and pursuing internships like bioinformatics global tools and techniques internship which is starting from 28th of this april so don't delay link is in the description you can always choose that and any questions comment below and reach out to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org i firmly believe that any one student among all of you will definitely win a nobel prize for india in the future in biosciences and my success will be only when that day comes thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then take care keep shining bye bye